welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have a video a little bit differently. Now you can see that we have a ass ton of weapons right here, like just ridiculous amount of weapons right here. And the other day I was, you know, gathering up all of the horror figures that we have in the collection and just kind of analyzing it and stuff. And you don't realize how many freaking little weapons and accessories come with these NECA horror action figures. And if you guys don't know what those are, you definitely need to go grab them. They have plenty of characters, Pennywise, Michael Myers, Leatherface, Freddy Krueger, Jason Voorhees, tons and tons of characters, and they they are really epic. They're really fun to pose around and play with, and uh, they're, they're epic, man. So this is our collection of weapons, man. Adding them all up and just taking a picture of them is ridiculous. Like, I added them all up, and I said, you know what, Brad? That would be a pretty cool video to just go through and see what all you can get from these, uh, these NECA horror figures, and I will say that uh, I cannot tell you what figures all of these come from, and I'm probably going to get butchered because I honestly could not remember half of them because there's so many. Like, there's so many that it's kind of ridiculous. Like, I know kitchen knives mostly come with Michael. We have a lot of machetes here from Jason, like an ass ton of machetes, actually. We have, obviously, Leatherface's chainsaw. We have a couple daggers from Chucky. Freddy's glove's not included, but if you guys want to include Freddy's glove, here it is. You can just pop his hand off, if I guess, if there's a weapon right there. But anyways, guys, what we're going to do is just take you through this collection and kind of show it off. We just have a couple masks here. We got part five right there with Roy's mask, and then we have Freddy versus Jason's mask right there. And I just threw those in. I thought those would look cool with all the weapons. So there's the mask. We're going to get those out of here. But let's go ahead and break down these weapons, guys. Again, there's so many here that it's kind of ridiculous. But the first accessory slash weapon that we have, guys, is this pitchfork. And I honestly couldn't tell you if this is from uh, if this is from part two or part three. But uh, we do have three different pitchforks, all three different sizes. And it's kind of like, look at this. We have three different pitchforks. Three. So if you like the small one, you have the small pitchfork. You have the medium size. And then you have the really massive one. So that's pretty epic. I think this one actually is from part five. I, I couldn't tell you guys. I, I, I'm gonna get, I, again, I, 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 I don't know, man. So there's the three pitchforks that we have. Those are pretty solid there. We have a wooden baseball bat that comes with the Chucky from Child's Play. I think this may be from Bride of Chucky, though. I'm not exactly sure which uh, Chucky film this is from, but I do believe this baseball bat came with the NECA Chucky figure. We have another accessory from Chucky, and it's just this yardstick. Not necessarily a weapon, but you could make it a weapon, and I think he does kill somebody with this in the film. So there's a yardstick. Moving on, guys. I guess we can get into these big accessories. I mean, my God, look at this massive axe. And again, I, I think this is from a massive part three statue slash figure, and it has a ton of detail in it. I mean, it looks fantastic. Look at the big handle on it. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. It's kind of just ridiculous how big this thing is. Like, if you want to see, like, let's, let's measure it up next to this car back here. Take a look at the car. It's the literal length of the car. You can make a pretty sick, nasty custom vehicle out of this if you wanted to. Just attach it to the front right there. Murder people. Next up, guys, we have a big machete. This is from... Uh, uh, Freddy versus Jason, I do believe. Another big Jason figure, and again, a massive weapon. Like, look at it compared to my hand. You can see here that it is very, very big, and it is very detailed as well. It's more of a black color. That's how I know it's the Freddy versus Jason machete. There is that one. I think this is for... I can't remember, man. I, I feel terrible, but I think it's from part three. It's this giant staff slash harpoon type deal going on. But I believe this is from part 3, Friday the 13th. Again, look how long this is. This is even longer than the axe that we just saw. Next up, guys, we have, I think this is from part 4. I can't remember, but this machete right here is in the side of the head. I think this is where, you know, Corey Feldman hits him in the face. Maybe it's part 3. I believe it's part 4, though. He hits him in the head and then, you know, he face plants and then the machete slides up his face. I think that's what this is supposed to be. Very nice sculpting detail on this head. I think NECA made this as well, so very nice sculpting on here as well. Great blood going on. Massive machete. So this head is Massive. Like, it's literally the size of my hand. Next up, guys, we have another accessory. It is this giant kitchen knife, so it's another giant accessory, but it's not, you know, the same as the machetes. It's actually, you know, got... It's just a kitchen knife, you know, standard. Got the blood on there and everything like that. Finishing it off with our massive weapons, guys, and then we will be into more of the smaller accessories and weapons. We are finishing it off with this axe, which I think is from part three. Again, I can't... I, I don't remember, man. They all run together. Like, three and four kind of run together in my head, so this could be from part four. It could be from part three, but it is from a Jason Voorhees figure, I know that. And again, very long. Need to mount and mount, mount these axes to either side of the car and make it like a death machine. But moving on to the rest, guys. Let's just go through these weapons one by one. I mean, there's a ton. Again, look at this pile right here. Absolutely just ton of weapons right here you can see stacked on top of each other. But moving on, guys, let's start off with Texas Chainsaw Massacre's Chainsaw. This came with the NECA Leatherface figure, and it looks good. It's got a ton of details on it. Look at the blood. Look at the yellow and black color. Really nice. I wish the chain rotated, but I think that would be asking too much from NECA, but very nice detail 
details on there as always from NECA and it's a great chainsaw. And of course we have the other one which is just standard green. It's just a solid green. This is from the Atari Leatherface if I'm not mistaken. And the figure is pretty much all green except for the head sculpt is detailed which he looks like in the game itself. So there's your two different chainsaws. Next up guys we have the staff slash pole from part 6 and uh, this is a very nice weapon. You can see there's sort of like a spear at the end there and it's got the brown details going on. Sort of a rustic look. Got some details in there. Kind of difficult to see that but there's the spear from part 6. Next up guys we have a couple harpoon guns and one of these, I mean they're both from part 3 but one of these has the weapon actually attached before it shoots out and then I think the other one has it where it's already shot out and I'm not sure if that comes with the figure. I can't remember if it does or not but there's the two different harpoon guns. Really good sculpt on there as always from NECA. Always killing it with the sculpt work so there's our two different harpoon guns from part 3 Friday the 13th. Next up ladies and gentlemen we have a couple screwdrivers and I don't know what figure this is from. It may be from Chucky. It may be from freaking Michael. It may be from part 5. I, I do not know. It's just a screwdriver man. You guys can see here it is a screwdriver. Nice details in there. I do have two of them. So that's pretty cool that they can get all those details and you can tell that they're both Phillips head screwdrivers. Next up guys is a fire poker and again can't tell you what figure this is from but it's got some nice gray gunmetal stuff going on so some nice details going on with it. We have another staff that breaks in half and where's the other half of it? Right here. I, I cannot remember what figure this comes with but I do know you poured it together like so and it ports together and then you have one really long pole there so there is the dagger there at the end and then it splits in half so you can put it in the figure's hands and I do know that it comes with a Jason Voorhees NECA figure. Next up guys is another fire poker but this one has some blood details on it and a white nice handle there and again can't tell you what figure this is from. I guess what I can do from now on guys is if I know where the weapon's from I will tell you and if not I'll just move along and just act like I, I like I just told you anyway. Next up guys I know what this one is and this is from Silent Hill. This is Pyramid Head's Great Knife and this one is very nice even though this figure's trash this is not from NECA this is actually from Figma I think and this is a great weapon I mean it's massive it's nice but you can't tell that from the figure. Uh, the figure's just trash it's so loose and just terrible I don't like it it's got nice details and everything but the figure's terrible but if you want the Great Knife go grab the Figma Pyramid Head. Next up guys we have a standard kitchen knife and I couldn't tell you if it came from Michael or Chucky but there's a kitchen knife. We have a buzz saw figure or a bone saw that I think came with Freddy or Leatherface I can't remember. We have another bone saw that I think came with Leatherface a little bit smaller than the last one. We have a few shovels right here I think both of these came with the Bride of Chucky 2 pack with Chucky and Tiffany but there is this you have two different shovels nice details and one of them is bigger than the other one. Get a little zoom out shot real quick so you guys can see the size difference in those. Next up guys is a dagger from part 6 Friday the 13th. This goes in his little utility belt so I know that from the part 6 Freddy the, Freddy the 13th. Friday the 13th Jason Voorhees part 6 from NECA. We have some double headed axes right here one that is bloodied up and one that is not and I again can't remember if these are from part 3 or part 4 but I do know they are from Friday the 13th. Our next weapon guys is a crowbar that has or is this a no this is actually a meat hook. This is a meat hook that's got the blood on there and everything. You could hang this from a string and do some epic photography with it. I'd really like to do that but I'm not gonna. Next guys we have more of a stake right here. I think this is from part 5. Not sure but it's basically like a silver stake right here. I think this is the kill where he stabs him through the porta potty but you can see there it's got nice sharpness to it and you got actually you could probably puncture your own skin if you'd like to. Wouldn't recommend it but it, it's possible. Next up guys we have another kitchen knife but this time it has a brown handle. Another double headed axe but it is bloody on both sides. Kind of makes like a tree logo in the middle right there. We have this weird tool and I don't know what the hell this is but it looks like he could do some damage if you hit somebody in the skull with it. Kind of looks like a hammer. I know it's not a hammer but you guys can see here again it's the same weapon so I guess I have two of this figure. Kind of looks like a hammer. Don't know what it is but you can definitely do some damage with it. Next up we have an adjustable wrench with the red, black, and silver. Very nice detail and sculpt work by NECA on this one. We have a bottle opener right here. Very nice. Don't think it's operational. No it is not operational but it does have some good paint detail going on again. NECA always killing it man. Like it, that is one thing you will always get with NECA is great details, great paint work, and great sculpt. We have a good guy hammer that came with uh, Chucky from Child's Play obviously so there is a hammer. We have a nice razor blade right here made for shaving but you could also slit some throats with it obviously. Uh, that's again got some nice details going on with it. Another adjustable wrench but this time in silver but the red that comes with this one is not from paint this time it is actually from blood so we got some more good sculpting going on with this. We have a small bloodied up hammer. A double headed axe that is smaller in size so I think this is from the Friday the 13th remake from 2009. We have another one of those right there because I have two of that same figure. We have a scalpel that I think came with Chucky if I'm not mistaken. Very small in this one. My god look at those details. I don't know how the hell they do that. Next up we have a couple fire pokers here. One is a little bit longer in length. Psych it's a lot a bit longer in length so there is those. So we have quite a few fire pokers. Different handles, different sizes, different colors. We have another stake right here but it is shorter so it's kind of like a, uh, I guess you would call this a railroad spike is what this looks like. We have a flare from Friday the 13th part 5. I thought we were done with the harpoon guns but apparently 
apparently we have another one. There's another harpoon gun from part three. Next up is another double-headed axe with a longer, skinnier handle. Completely clean, no blood this time. We have a few meat cleavers here, and we actually have three of them. Let's go ahead and get them on screen so you guys can kind of compare the different ones. And I think one of these came with Chucky, one of these came with Leatherface, and I don't know where the other one came from, but you guys can see very similar to the blood patterns on both. I think I like the middle one the best, even though it may be the smallest one. Uh, you got more of a darker gray silver tone going on here, more of a detailed on the middle one, and then the bottom is more of a flat, but all three of them look nice. All of them have great looking details in. Can somebody that's a chef or somebody in the comment section tell me why there's always this hole in a meat cleaver? Somebody tell me that down in the comment section below if anybody can let me know. Next up, guys, we have another kitchen knife right here, which has a lot of great detail going on. I think this is from the Halloween 2018 Michael Myers from NECA. Next up is another dagger, and I think this is from Child's Play. Very uh, iconic looking dagger here. Very different from every other knife slash dagger that is in this video. Right here, I think this is from Friday the 13th Part 5, I think, is where he wraps the belt around the tree and then twists the, the twist the, the wood stick here and it like pops out that dude's eyes or crushes that dude's eyes. I think that's from part five. Another knife right here, another kitchen knife with some blood on it. Another dagger, but this one has like a wood grain handle. It's got a different shape to it. Again, so many knives, man. Who, who the hell knows where they're from? Another kitchen knife with some good details. Another kitchen knife. Another kitchen knife. You, you're going to hear that a lot in this video. This one actually is a little bit skinnier, has some more blood details on it. We have a couple pistols here and this one actually is from uh, NECA Chucky right here, the smaller one, the little handgun and then this one is actually from a Marvel Select Deadpool figure, if you, if you can believe that. Kind of looks like the same gun, but obviously shorter barrel on it. We have a hammer that is clean. No blood pattern on this one this time. Another kitchen knife with some blood detail. Another kitchen knife, but no blood on this one. A little bit skinnier. Looks like a fillet knife. Actually, you know what? This one looks like a fillet knife. That last one kind of looked like a, like a bone cutting knife. I, I don't know. I'm not a knife expert. I'm not Billy Mays at 3 a.m. on an infomercial. Next up, guys, we have a syringe, and this one's very nice. I love this. I think this is very nicely detailed. You got the freaking clear plastic on there. Some sort of serum in there. You got the needle and everything. Couldn't tell you where it's from, though. Next up, guys, is a letter opener. So we got so many different types of blades here. Is this like a... I don't know. This may not be a... This isn't a letter opener. This is like a jugular. It looks like, kind of like a ballistic knife. You just freaking shoot it into somebody's freaking throat. Just jugular. Just, just freaking dead. Next up, guys, is another knife, and I don't know where this is from, but it's got some nice detailing on it, and it has some paint and patterns, and obviously this is supposed to be for somebody specific, but I can't remember or anything, so I'm a stupid jackass. Next up, guys, is sort of a weapon slash body part slash limb, which is where Chucky's leg gets cut off, and then he uh, puts a knife in there, so he's like a peg leg, but it's a it's a shank instead. Next up is the pickaxe from part two. Very good detail. Very large pickaxe, if you will, and it has some blood detail on it. I love that part two, Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th part two. Coming into the last few weapons, guys, we do have a small little pile that we've assembled here. Uh, first up, we do have this little pickaxe. It's not a pickaxe, you jackass. That's clearly like an ice poker or something. Very sharp. You could easily impale yourself with it. Next up, guys, just like the meat cleavers, we have quite a few axes here. You got this axe, this axe, uh, a couple NES uh, axes from the Friday the 13th NES game, and then we have a few more, so... So five different axes right here. All right, so I tried my best to try and get them all on camera. Again, can't tell you which ones they're from. I do know that this is from the original SDCC NES Friday the 13th Jason figure from NECA, and this is from the re-release from a couple years ago. Then we have just a bunch of different ones. Again, if somebody wants to let me know, maybe a part three or a part four for some of these other ones, but there is the little single axe head uh, collection. Next up, guys, we have the hedge clippers from part five, Friday the 13th from Roy. Nice blood on there, and this is actually operational. You can snip your own hedges with this. We have a few daggers slash knives left. We have this little kitchen knife here with some blood on it and then another small knife with some blood on it again. Tons and tons of knives, man. My God. And then finally, ladies and gentlemen, we have the machete collection, and I'm just going to line this up real quick. All right, guys, so here is the machete collection, and again, it's just so many different machetes. It's kind of ridiculous. I want to count them real quick. So I believe it is about 19 here in total. There may be a couple missing in the collection somewhere, like on display or something, like in a box or something of random parts or something, but for the most part, this is mostly the collection. You have 19 different machetes, and that is ridiculous. That is an absurd amount from varying in length and size and, you know, width and blood, no blood details and all that good jazz, but very nice machete collection for the Friday the 13th series all added up here, and it is nice way to round out the collection, but my god at the weapons, if you guys did not know 
Uh, now you know, Brad. I mean, my God, look at all these freaking machetes, and you have all of these other weapons. Like, look at this pile of weapons right here, not including the massive weapons that we took a closer look at at the beginning of the video. This is ridiculous. I mean, my God, I did not expect it to be a 20-minute video. If it's even 20 minutes, it may be not near 20 minutes. It may be closer to 15, but regardless, this is an absurd amount of figure weapons. And I would really appreciate it down in the comment section below, guys. Let me know right now what your favorite weapon is from the video. Who's your favorite horror icon? Freddy, Pennywise, Michael, Leatherface, Jason Voorhees, Chucky. Let me know down in the comment section below. Again, add your favorite weapon to that as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the NECA horror figure weapons collection video. If you did, be sure to subscribe and turn on your your bell for all notifications. We have some epic videos coming the next few days, as well as a very special video for Halloween. So definitely stay tuned, turn on your bell, and stay tuned, and I will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and horror action figure videos, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.